Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another day of reading and language arts. I am so excited that we're back together and it's both classes again. I love getting to teach you guys. It's been so much fun. Today, we are going to be learning some new special sounds and reviewing some other stuff that we've already done this school year. I hope you guys are ready to learn some new special sounds and I hope you guys had so much fun yesterday getting to do your hunt for something that has a special sound, twa or cr. I loved getting to see what you guys shared with us. It's so much fun when you guys get to do that and share with us what, what you have in your house. We love getting to see those things. And we know that you guys have so much fun doing them. Now, we are going to review some blends. And man, has it been a long time since we've done those. They are so important because it's the beginning sound of a word. And wow, those, that, those beginning sounds are super important. So I am going to, I got some cards in my hand. Now I'm going to call on some people based on the letters that they have in their name. And this includes their, your first name and your last name. So this first blend, if you have the letter C in your first name or your last name, remember that's the letter that looks like that, I want you guys to say, to read this blend, okay? I'm not gonna read them, it's just you guys. If you have that letter, you can say it. And if you don't have that letter, you can mouth it or you can think it, okay? So this first one, you have the letter C, in your name. Ready? Say the blend. Awesome. That's the blend. It's you. Okay. Next, if you have the letter H in your name, first or last name, I want you guys to say and read this blend. Ready? Good job. This is the blend. Whoa. Whoa there. Hold on a second. Next, if you have the letter L in your name, looks like that, I want you to read me this one. Ready? Good. This is the blend Bay. Awesome. Okay. Now, if you have an N in your name, I want you to read me this one. Good, this is the blend DAW. And if you have an A in your name, this is a lot of you guys. Good, this is the blend yeah. yeah. Remember our nose scrunches up when we say that it sound. And the last one, if you have an R in your name. Ready? Good, that's get. And I want you guys to remember, we don't write our G's like this. This is just so that you guys, when you see it, can know, even though it's not how we write it, we can still recognize it and know that that is a G, okay? Some words are written different and letters are written different and you guys need to be able to recognize them, even when it looks different so that you guys can keep reading those words, okay? Next step, I want you guys to read some two vowel words and I want you to think, hmm, it's got two vowels in it. It means it's going to say what kind of sound. It's longer, it's short. Good, it's long sound. So pay extra close attention, okay? So I'm not gonna call on anybody. I want everybody to do this first one, okay? Ready? Good, this is the word queen. And even though it looks like there are three vowels in it, there are three vowels, but remember these two letters are stuck together. They are best friends, so you cannot have this letter without this one. So we don't really count this one in marking our vowels, okay? It's these two. Good job with the, reading the word queen. Next, I want you to read this word if you have a brother. Only if you have a brother, okay? You don't have a brother, you can think it or you can mouth it, but don't say it out loud, okay? Ready? 
good. This is the word home. I hope you guys have been staying home because that is a great way to protect everybody and keep us healthy, okay? Now, if you have a sister, I want you to read me this word, okay? Ready? Awesome. This is the word game. I don't know about you guys, but I have most definitely been able to play a few games over our, our long break and during our shelter in place at home. And I love to play games. Now, if you don't have a brother or a sister, I mean, you are an only child, you're the only one in your family, I want you to read me this word, okay? Good, this is the word hide. This is in a fun game that you guys can hopefully play at home. If you have someone else is there, maybe brothers or sisters, maybe your, maybe your mom or your daddy can help play with you. It's called Hide and Go Seek. It is such a fun game. I love playing that game. Now, if you love your mommy, I want you to read me this word and hope everybody reads it. Good, this is the word nose. Point to your nose. Good, smush it down. Last one, and if you love your daddy, I want you to hold up this, or not hold, I'm gonna hold it up. I hope you, cool. I want you guys to read this word. I brought a little thumb dive right there. Good, this is the word beep. It's the sound that cars make when they honk their horn. They go beep, beep. Good job. Now, we are going to learn Two new special sounds. And man, we have learned so, so many special sounds. Just this week alone, before today, we've learned six. Whoa. You have, that is making your vocabulary. The words that you can read and recognize get so big, so much bigger. That's just been in three days, okay? We're gonna learn two more today, okay? The first one I want you guys to look at is this one. Ready? S in sn in snack. Everybody say sn 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 sn. You know, it scrunches up kind of like with the if sn. They look a little bit silly. And I'm going to be gobbling down some snacks. They've got healthy snacks in here, which are super good to eat. So. We're going to read this one again. Ready? S in sn in snack. And eat those snacks. Gobble them up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Like a turkey. We eat them up. One more time. This time it's just going to be you guys. Okay, ready? Awesome. Now we're going to read some of the words on the back. Not everybody's going to uh, get to read them. We're not going to read all of them either. Okay? I want boys and girls whose favorite color is blue to read me this first word. I see it. Good. That word is sneeze. And that is something that I do all the time. So much that my students, you guys, like to count how many sneezes I do. And you also like to pretend like I'm going to explode all over you guys and y'all are so silly. But sneeze, something that happens a lot this time of year because there's lots of pollen and dust and there's new plants growing and it just makes your allergies act up. Next, I want you guys to read this one if your favorite color is red, okay? Good, this is the word sniff, remember. These two letters, they're both consonants and they're the same consonant, so they only say one sound. It's not sniff. That would be silly. It's sniff. Not everybody to sniff. <sighs> Maybe you've got a candle going. Maybe mommy or daddy are cooking. I want you guys to read this one now. If your favorite color is pink. Good, that is the word snap. Everybody, if you can, try and snap your fingers. Sometimes it's tricky, it takes a while. I didn't, couldn't do it when I was younger, but I practiced and I got better. We're gonna do the last one. 
Okay, right here. If your favorite color is green, I want you to read me this word. Good, this is the word snail. Now I want you to think, snail. Is a snail super de duper fast or really slow? That's right, a snail is slow. You might hear someone say, ask if you want to send something through snail mail, which just means it's going to take longer to get there. I've seen some snails outside right now, and I think it'd be awesome if after this you guys went to go look to see if you could find a snail. Remember, they're super small. Sometimes they can be a little slimy. You might find them on the, the walls of your house outside because they stick to stuff. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. Ready? S in sn in snack. Mm, good. Miss Harper loves to eat her snacks. Next special sound. This is another thing that Miss Harper loves to do. Two of her favorite things in one day. Wow, you guys ready? S L school in sleep. Who else likes to sleep? Raise your hand if you do. I like to take naps and I like to sleep all cuddle up in my bed with a fan going. Mm. Sleep is very important. It helps you guys get ready for the next day and it just kind of calms you down. Mm. It's a good thing to, to get and you guys need lots of it. <laughs> okay, again, ready? S L swoop in sleep. Now you can pretend you are sleeping on your side like this or like this or however you sleep you can do that as your motion but I don't know if you can lay down. I don't have enough time to do that or enough room in my little classroom at home but it's so important to sleep okay. If you don't get enough sleep you can actually get sick. If I don't get enough sleep I get a really bad headache so it's very important. Now we're going to read a few words on the back. We're going to start at the bottom, right here. If your favorite color is purple or indigo, I want you to read this word. Good, this is the word slide. Maybe you have been on a slip and slide, which is a fun thing that's cool. It's like a tarp on the ground and it's got water and soap on it and you run, 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 run and you slide. Maybe you guys have been on the slides at school. I bet everybody has. Next up, we're going to read this word. And if your favorite color is orange, I want you to read me this word. Good. This is the word sleeve. Now, everybody Hopefully everybody is wearing something that has a sleeve on it. You might be thinking, am I? I don't know. If your shirt comes past your shoulder, like mine does, you have a sleeve. So you, this is a short sleeve. Then you have your quarter length sleeve and you have your long length sleeve. That is what a sleeve is. You guys wear them. In the summer, you might not have one because it's hotter. And in the winter, you have a long one because it's cold. Okay, we're going to read one more. This one. If you have a favorite color, whatever color it is, I haven't said it yet. I want you to read this one, okay? Good. This is the word slip. It goes with this one. Remember the slip and slide. Hopefully, you guys are very careful when you're walking and you don't slip. It's very easy to slip on ice when it's cold outside and there's ice on the ground. Whew. It's dangerous too. Good job. Now, this one more time. Ready? S L swoop in sleep. Hmm. Hopefully you guys have nice dreams when you sleep. Very important. Very good. Nightmares aren't fun. Now, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I am going to write some words, type some words one at a time, and I want you guys to read it 
And then I want you to help me mark the vowels and circle the special sound. So let's read this first word. Can you guys read it? Everybody at the same time. Good, it's the word snail. Do you guys see a special sound? I do too, right here at the beginning. Sn, S N, Sn, and snack. Good. Now, do you guys see any vowels? Do you see one or two? I see two, right? This first one gets a straight stick, and the second one gets, oh, not that. Slashed through, because it is silent. Awesome. Next word I want you guys to help me with is this word. Okay, who wants to read it? I think it would be great if you love to play outside to try and read this one. Good, it's the word sled. This is something that you guys might use in the winter when there's snow. Do you guys see a special sound? Awesome, me too. Okay, what about a vowel that needs to be marked? Do you see one or two? I see one as well. It's this E. When there's one, it gets a smile. Awesome. We'll do one more word, okay? I want you guys to read me that word. Good. A slope. So a slope is something that's not flat and it's not straight up. It means it kind of curves down, like a slide has a slope, a mountain has a slope, and when a hill has a slope, and that's what you sled down. Okay, do you guys see a special sound? Awesome, right here. Good, good. What about some vowels? One or two? Yeah, you guys are so smart. You guys can do these easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Awesome. Good job with those words, boys and girls. That was you guys just helping me. You didn't have to do it yourself. You can always do it because extra practice is great and it just helps you learn more. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about your homework. So yesterday you guys went on a hunt, which there's so much fun. Today, I want you to kind of go on a hunt. I want you to look around for something that has one of these two special sounds in it. And I want you to draw a picture and I want you to label it so you're gonna write what it is. So maybe you guys find a sling shot. Or maybe someone has a snake. And you guys are gonna draw a picture and you are going to label what it is. Do your best to use those special sounds and listen to how many vowels you hear, the vowel sounds. If it's a long one, you know there's, a, there's two. If it's short, you know there's one. And listen for those special sounds, okay? You can share with Mrs. Troutman and I your picture and the label. And if you want to, you can even have what you drew next to you, okay? So if you found a snake, you can keep it next to you. Not a real snake. And if you want to, you can do one of each. You can draw something from both of these special sounds, or you can draw as many things as you want that have any of the, these two special sounds in them, as many as you want. Okay, I hope you guys have fun doing that, and I hope you guys are excited for your math lesson later today. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see what you guys found and draw. Drew, I love you. Bye.